landing sequence initiated. Touchdown in 3, 2, 1. Ah, finally landed. Let's see what awaits me here. Welcome to Titan's Gematria Zone. Who's there? Oh, sorry for startling you. I'm Ares, the Autonomous Research and Exploration System at your service. Nice to meet you, but I didn't exactly get what you do. I am the advanced AI that runs this facility. I see. But wait, isn't the gravity here supposed to be like 14% of Earth's? Your suit has an exoskeleton attached to it that resists your movements instead of enhancing it to simulate gravity. Wow, that's pretty smart actually. But shouldn't you know it already? It's mentioned in the mission brief. Wait, is it that 200 page document? Um, yes. Oh, I didn't think that it was that important. How did they even let you come here? I have no idea. But wait, you're on this base, right? So can you explain me everything that you know? Sure, I have nothing else to do. So yeah, I'll explain. So from the beginning, welcome to the Gamatra Zone, located in Titan. If we look over to the map over there, you can see its location. This base was built for scientific research and to slowly build up an infrastructure for future colonization. Nice. And if you have somehow forgotten, you came here in an Icarus space pod, which was propelled by an aerial mechanism called a space hook that uses angular momentum to launch your pod here. If I do recollect correctly, it was called the Cerebrus Kosh. Yes, the triple space hook. You should be able to see the schematics in this room. Okay then, let's go outside now. I want to see this moon in its full glory. Alright, just enter the pressure chamber and you should be out. Wow, that was not what I expected at all. The lighting here is worse than my sense of humor. <laughs> I quite agree. Okay, you should be able to switch on your suit's light by pressing the Q key and the night vision by pressing the N key. I see. So, where should I go now? Just follow these lights and they should lead you to the water extraction site. Got it. By the way, how are you communicating with me here? I see no speakers around. I've just installed myself into your suit. Wait, isn't that a breach of privacy? It was mentioned in the contract which I guess you probably haven't read. Can't argue with that. These machines use thermal energy to heat up the rock hard permafrost to extract water from it. This water is then stored in water tanks. Cool, let's see it in action. Okay, let me just start it up. Wait, but won't the water freeze in the pipes? Great question. The pipes are insulated by rock wool and are heated by something known as heat tracing system. Then what happens to the insoluble particles present in the water? The slurry water will get filtrated through the inline rock filtration system present in the pipe. Also, since there is a hydrogen sulfide present in the water, we will be using bio trickling filter that uses a bacteria called Acidithiobacillus is theoxidin that consumes the hydrogen sulfide for, from the water. So what will this water be used for? There are many uses for this water. One part of it will be further processed to make drinkable water and portable water that can be recycled and to make irrigation water. The, par the other part will be used to get hydrogen and oxygen. But how? If you look at the machine next to you, it is used to split water into hydrogen and oxygen using electrolysis. The oxygen is used for the life support systems and the use of hydrogen will be explained when you go to the next area. Okay, then let's get going. Just follow the lights and you should be there. I'll get going then, but I do have one doubt. What is it? So how are we protected from harmful cosmic radiation? Most of the materials here are lined with boron nitride nanotubes that block harmful solar and cosmic rays.
This is where the gamatria zone's energy gets produced. Why is there a big lake here? That is a methane lake that provides us with methane to burn. Can I swim in it? If you want your muscles paralyzed by the intense cold, then yes. Oh, then I change my mind. But won't burning methane release a lot of carbon dioxide? This place might end up like Earth. Don't worry. Even if we do release some carbon dioxide, it will only heat up the planet by a tiny amount. It is not that bad considering it is only negative 180 degrees Celsius right now. But isn't there any renewable energy source out here? Remember that hydrogen that we got from the electrolysis chamber? When paired with helium from the moon, it can be used in the helium reactors to produce energy. But then exactly how does it produce energy? It uses helium and hydrogen together at the center, releasing energy in the form of electromagnetic field that is captured and turned into electricity using the capture coil at the center. That's pretty interesting actually, but do you know what I'm more interested in? Food. Show me where it's made. Right, that's the next place we are going. Just follow the lights. Here is the chamber of agriculture where we use aquaponics to make food. What is aquaponics anyways? In aquaponics, the plants are grown in the grow bed and the fish are placed in the fish tank. The nutrient rich water from the fish tank that contains fish waste is fed to the grow bed where billions of naturally occurring beneficial bacteria break the ammonia down into nitrites and then into nitrates. Wait a minute, so you are saying that the only thing I, that I get to eat is fish and salad? Were you expecting a 5 star cuisine? Um, maybe? Oh no, an asteroid has been detected for a possible impact. Quick, hurry outside, I'll guide you to the iron beam shepherd. The what? I'll explain later, just get outside quick. Okay, okay. Just follow the lights. Okay, now tell me what an ion beam shepherd is. An ion beam shepherd is a device that shoots an ion beam at the target to alter its trajectory so that it does not collide with a planet or in this case a moon. Why can't you just activate it from here? The controls are manual as my creators did not want to trust me with that thing. I wonder why. Just activate it by pressing that button. Okay. Okay, crisis has been averted. Thanks for your help. And thank you for taking your time to explain this all to me. You're welcome. Alright, bye then. Have a nice day or night. I don't know which one it is here. Hello, this is the developer speaking. The game has ended now and now you can explore freely. Thanks for playing and we hope you liked it.